Hello one and all and welcome to the Math Magic Show and this one we're gonna find the value of that integral again I'm pointing to it right there see it you should pause the video and you should try solving it on your own first okay but I'll do it anyway take a look friends okay so we have the following here integral from 0 to power of 4 and the root of 1 plus cosine of 4 theta and then d theta so how do we do this well first of all we get the root symbol but then we have this expression we cannot just take a root the root of this expression under the root symbol easily. So what do we have to do? We have to do something along these lines, right? We have to remember that cosine squared of theta is equivalent to writing 1 plus cosine of 2 theta divided by 2. And then multiply both sides by 2. So it's going to tell you 2 cosine squared of theta is equal to 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. So, so far, this just says that 1 plus cosine of 2 theta is interchangeable with 2 cosine squared of theta. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, let me show you here with a graph that might be somewhat helpful. If you look at the top panel here very carefully, friends, look. See this? 2 cosine squared of theta and then 1 plus cosine 2 theta. These two graphs across the top row will look identical. That means their expressions are interchangeable, you see? That's what it means to be identical, right? That means when you make the graphs, the graphs match point by point by point every single point. Okay. Now take a look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace theta with 2 theta. Same thing over here. So I'm going to say 2 and then cosine of 2 theta. So 2 cosine squared of 2 theta is equivalent to 1 plus cosine and 2 times 2 theta. So I'm replacing theta here with 2 theta. And same thing over here. Theta with 2 theta. That's going to give us the equivalent then. It says that 2... Uh, let's see, cosine squared of 2 theta, 2 theta is equivalent to 1 plus cosine of 4 theta. Stop for a second. What is this saying? You can see that effect happen in the bottom graph, if you look very carefully, friends. So, you see 2 cosine squared of 2 theta is this graph, and then 1 plus cosine of 4 theta is this graph. If you look at them very carefully, you should pause the video and study this now. Zoom in. <laughs> the two graphs are interchangeable, right? And then we transitioned from we transitioned from one plus cosine of two theta to one plus cosine of four theta by replacing theta with two theta. Anyway, the point is now one plus cosine of four theta is replaceable with two cosine squared of two theta. The graphs look identical. That means the expressions are interchangeable. You see? Okay. So now this is good because we have one plus cosine of four theta. Now we have it here, and it's interchangeable with this. So our integral can be now recreated as follows: the integral. From 0 to, let's see, pi over 4. And now this, let's see, this would be, hmm, instead of having this, put this expression. So it becomes the root of, let's see, 2 cosine squared. That's just 2 up here. Okay, 2, and then let's see, 2 theta, and then d theta right here. Now we can distribute the root operation to each quantity. So it's going to be the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the root of 2. And then let's see. Yep, and then cosine squared of 2 theta, d theta, this way. And of course, this part right here, right, this is a constant at the root of 2, so that can go outside the integral symbol. So let's do that next right here. Let's see, so the integral from 0 with the root 2 on the outside, and then pi over 4, and then you have just the root, let's see, of cosine squared of 2 theta, and then d theta like this. Now, the nice thing is here, Whenever you do this, you can cancel this with this. Just officially, you should do this in absolute value. So in other words, you're just going to end up with the root of 2 and then 0 to pi over 4. And now this becomes cosine of 2 theta like this. And it should be an absolute value with the d theta. But again, let me show you something. You see, cosine of 2 theta, if you look at this graph very carefully, cosine of 2 theta between 0 and pi over 4, is already a positive quantity. See how it, this is the horizontal axis, and then the graph is always above the horizontal axis. So that means cosine of 2 theta is already positive. So that means at the next stage you can say the root of 2 integral from 0 to pi over 4, and then just cosine of 2 theta. You don't need the absolute value bars. You can just drop the absolute value bars. All right, and then from here, now, as I'm sure you know, this is saying what's the function whose derivative is cosine of 2 theta, so you really should pause the video and take it from here. It's just evaluating this relatively simple integral from here. By relative, I mean relative to like the original step, okay? 
So now let's take it from here. What's the function whose derivative is cosine of the theta? It's going to be the root of 2 and then 1 half sine of, let's see, 2 theta. Okay, evaluated between pi over 4 and 0 like this. Okay, then you go through this. So it's going to be the root of 2 over 2. And then you're going to replace, so sine of, let's see, bracket in here. And then 2 times pi over 4. Okay, and then minus sine of, let's see, uh, 2 times 0 this way. Now, here, this divides, so you have a 1, and when you divide 4 by 2, you leave a 2 in this denominator right here. There's a 2 left over. So that means that the next stage you're going to have the root of 2 over 2. And then here it's going to be, well, you just end up with sine of pi over 2 minus sine of 0 this way. Okay, so from here, take a look. I draw a unit circle. Let me do that right now. Uh, just as a reminder, so this is the unit circle. At the top of the unit circle, this is the point 0, 1, right? And this here represents pi over 2 radians. So sine of pi over 2 radians is just right this value of 1 right here. So in other words, this becomes 1. And then at this point right here, so this is 1, 0. The sine of 0 radians is that 0 right there. So then that means that this part right here, this becomes 0. Therefore, let's see, picking up about over here, and maybe exaggerating the size of things, all of this is equal to the root of 2 over 2 with the 1 from here minus the 0 from here. And therefore, we end up with the root of 2 over 2. And this, friends, is our answer. I'm going to write this big so you don't miss it. <laughs> well, the answer actually is the entire process, right? That's a, the process itself is what counts. I'm much more interested in that than, you know, whether this comes out to be the root of 2 or over 2. That's, you know, silly. Okay. Thank you, friends. If this has been helpful, interesting, please remember to leave a like, to subscribe, leave some comments down below and suggestions for future videos. I will see you in another one.